What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to email coaches. This could work for agents as well. All right, let's get started. So of course, the first one, no brainer. I mean, you gotta say hello to anyone you talk to, right? So we'll start with that. Um, if it's a mister or a miss, obviously you gotta differentiate. And then as you can see in the example, just insert the coach's last name. So hello, Mr. Doe or hello, Mrs. Doe. You don't gotta overthink this one. All right, now number two, this one is just a simple warm greeting. So I'd like to say, especially during COVID, this is my go-to. It was, I hope you and yours are doing well during these crazy times. You can put your own twist on it. Just something that kind of shows the human side of you. You know, don't, don't be rude and just, hey coach, man, I'm trying to get an offer, man. What's up? You know what I mean, that's just, that just sounds crazy. You don't wanna be too transactional, you know, just kind of, that's not really building a connection, it's just kind of being a good person. And number three, quick intro. So with this one, we don't gotta give our whole life story. It's just, you say your name, um, your position, uh, how tall you are. Uh, of course, you wanna let them know what team you're on currently and from what city. So here's the example. Uh, my name is Jesus Shuttlesworth. I'm a 6'6 wing, currently playing for insert team name so where it says insert team name of course you just put the current team that you're on and then in insert location so for insert location you just put the city you're currently in and um yeah of course you want to let them know you're interested in playing for their program i mean that goes without being said but of course you just want to add that in as well all right let's move on to number four why you want to play there so this one i think that will separate you from probably 99% of players because no one's really doing this type of research because what this requires you to do is you got to watch film of their games or maybe you've been to a game which makes it easier and you, you got to see them play in person but most people if you're reaching out to a prep school there's a good chance it's not in your area it could be obviously there's obviously a good chance that it can be as well but um, if you're reaching out to a school and you know how they play what systems they like to run that's just a good look, right? Like most players who hit coaches up aren't thinking to do all that extra research. Whereas in this example for, for this video, we say, I think I would be a great fit for your program as I noticed that you like to push the ball and get out in transition. And that is a major strength of mine. So the coach is realizing that you identify with the school because the playing style matches your strength. He's probably gonna look for that in your highlight tape as well when we get to that part. But um, I think this is, I think this definitely separates you from nine, 9.9 .9 out of 10 guys. So on to number five, accomplishments and stats. So we don't wanna list every single accomplishment in this section, because I mean, you might have a long list, right? You might be a great player. So the coach isn't trying to read your whole like basketball biography, you know? It's just to give them an idea of like what your biggest feats are. So for example, this past season, I averaged, you would insert your stats, don't assert every stat, just the ones that, you know, that you actually excelled at. Otherwise, like, you can't just be going 0.1 offensive rebounds for games, 0.2 defensive rebounds for games. You know what I mean? It's just going to be too lengthy. So I would say insert stats, like, obviously, your points per game. If you were averaging lots of rebounds, then add the rebounds as well. Uh, maybe you average, like, 2.5 steals a game, which is a good amount. You know, mention that. You get what I'm trying to say. Just don't mention everything. It's, you know, if you... Maybe you want a big MVP of a tournament, then okay, cool. Mention that, but don't be going, yeah, scored 10 points last game, which is the most against this team. I scored 20 points against this team and we got the win and it was a big win, it got us into the playoffs. Like those are more like personal accomplishments. Those aren't really accomplishments that a coach needs to hear about. Okay, number six, highlights. I mean, this goes without being said. Um, one thing too about this is do not I repeat, do not send multiple clips. Make the effort to make it as easy as possible to watch your film. So what I mean by that is some people will just have like files, like 30 different files or attachments. And then the coach has to click one and then open, uh, open it, watch it, close it, open the next one, close it, open the next one. It's like, no, like the coach isn't trying to do all that. There's like hundreds of players hitting up 
any particular coach on any given day or week. So if they have to go through all that for every guy, imagine that's just no, no coach trying to do that. So if I was you guys, make the effort to make a YouTube video so that the coach can just open the video, click play, and go on about his day, man. He's not trying to have to go through all that hassle just to watch your highlight tape. So the example I put is just simply attached are my highlights and then insert a YouTube link. All right, and number seven, call to action. So with this one, I mean, it goes without being said, you're contacting the coach for a reason right so you want to let him know what the reason is obviously he kind of could put two and two together but you still want to mention it in the email so if you're interested please leave me your number and let me know a good time to get on a phone call so we can discuss things further so something simple as that lets him know what you're trying to do what you're trying to get out of this so in this example i i said that he could leave his number and we can get on a phone call I'm, I'm more comfortable with phone calls um i mean i'm sure everyone isn't but i just think it's good to hear the coach's voice and hear his tone you know what i mean so when you ask a question or when you're talking about certain things you can kind of tell if the coach is really interested by how he sounds and you know i feel like with text and obviously with email you can't you can't get that so it's on you guys if you want to keep it via email you could just say if you're interested please let me know and you know and see what he what he does if he takes it to phone call then that's on him obviously i'm sure most coaches will want to call you and hear you some coaches these days do zoom calls a lot of coaches actually do zoom calls these days so i guess you gotta just go with what he feels and go from there all right and last but not least this is just one of them human things kind of like the first one where you say hi so now you're just gonna give him a warm sign off so something as simple as thank you and i look forward to speaking with you and yeah man now you just hope for the best um rinse and repeat don't just do this for one school do it for all the schools you're interested in and just you know eventually you'll get replies that you like you'll be able to pick between schools i mean depending on how good you are of course you can't forget that but be persistent it's not going to be because of your email that's for sure i just set you guys up you guys are good now with this and yeah man just keep at it and wish you guys the best any questions of course comment below and let me know and i'll make sure to add any edits or tweaks or just reply to your comment with uh answers thank you guys stay blessed